So this lesson I am going to focus on colouring and how to shade with colouring pencils. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you some of my old drawings back when I was 15, 16, that kind of age. Because when I was 15, that was when I really started to, to think about shading properly with coloured pencils. So you'll be able to see my examples from when I was younger there. So this was my first ever manga drawing. I'm going to flip it so that you guys can see it a bit better. And as you can see, uh, I'm start, I've started with uh, shading. So I've used shading for the hair, the skin and so forth. Uh, this is another one, so another manga drawing. Now you can see here that I've started to experiment with not just one colour but building uh, other colours on top of the shading. So I'll put that close. Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, this is a uh, meant to be me. Uh, Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. There you go. Now this is my favourite. When I was 15 and 16, I was obsessed with ninjas. Not quite sure why. I just thought they looked pretty cool. Uh, so this is a ninja uh, manga picture, anime picture that I did and I really went crazy with the shading here and as you can see it's it's really emphasised and really uh, added dimension to the pictures so you can see that my confidence is getting better. So that is a little tour of my sketchbook that I started to experiment with shading. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to shade, basically. So, there are many coloured pencils that you can use for shading. Uh, the, the pencils that I used for these particular drawings were actually from a British store called WH Smith. So if you are a British and if you have a WH Smiths near you, you still get these coloured pencils. So these are a little bit dirty now, but uh, I actually found that they're pretty decent pencils. They're, they're affordable, but they're artist quality. Uh, they're really good for beginners. Again though, they even though they are reasonably affordable, they're not affordable for everybody. So. I would say that Crayola, Crayola pencils are also really good pencils to shade with. If you want to go over the top, you can use uh, these pencils. So these are Derwent Fine Art pencils, so these are really top quality. These were actually gifted to me, I can't afford them myself, um, but as I open them, you can see there's a wide range of different shades here and it goes on forever. Okay, so I am going to get a, a picture from one of my colouring uh, pages that I've done during Covid and I'm going to show you how to shade. Okay, so this is a photocopy of a drawing that I did a while ago. So let's start with the basic shading. The shading that I started off with when I was getting into shading. So obviously a coloured pencil works just like a normal um, pencil where the harder you press the more pigmented or the more colour comes out. The lighter you press the lighter it's going to be. So I'm just going to press reasonably hard on the edges of this petal, like so. And then in the middle, I'm going to gradually go lighter 
and that is some shade and it makes it really pop and stand out. So, so that is basic shading. It's um, you know going using the pencil to go darker and then gradually working lighter to create that depth and that shade. So that is the kind of basic stuff that I started off with. Um, another tip when I was younger is my my sister because she also really liked art. She said. Uh, try to go in the same direction. So when you're colouring, don't just colour all over the place. Keep to that one direction, going straight if you can. And that way it gives it an even coat. And then she said, go the other way. So I went that way for the first coat. I'm going to turn my page so I can go the opposite direction. And she said that just really gives it a better coverage. And then from there, I'm just going to press a little bit darker, or harder rather, so I can create a darker shade. Now, bearing in mind, this is just how I shade and, uh, and use, use colours for shading. There are lots of people who have different methods, different preferences. So what I'm doing isn't the only right way. There are different ways that you can go about it. This is just how I do it, what I find comfortable. Okay, we're now gonna talk about building color on top of color. So for example, I am going to use a light blue on this petal. So I'm just going to do a, a light coating. Now I find that going light to dark is better than going dark to light, if that makes sense. Because you can always darken a picture, but especially when you're working with coloured pencils, they're harder to rub out. You can't really go from dark to light. So light to dark is the best method. So as you can see, I'm using a light blue and I've got my coat there and then I want to use a darker shade of blue so I'm going to use this one on top and build it Now what if I want to go even darker than that, then that's absolutely fine. I can use black now, or this is like a really dark, dark blue, and I can build up the shade. So, and as you can see, the more shades I apply, the more deeper the depth. Maybe I wouldn't want to go darker than that, so I could use a black. Like so. so 
So it's just, when you're shading with coloured pencils, it's just layers and, and being a bit patient and just gradually layering on top. Let's do, uh, let's do uh, like a yellow. So let's do the middle of the flower. So I'm going to start off with the lightest colour again. I'm going to colour on top. even coat and then from there I'm going to use a darker yellow I'm going to go all the way around the edges that's darkest uh, like so so I think I might just complete a couple of these flowers and I'll get back to you with the finished product if you want to have a practice um, colouring in and, and shading, I strongly advise that you have a go at, at, at practicing with um, pre-coloured or pre-drawn, well, not pre-coloured, pre-drawn um, line drawings. On my Facebook page, I actually have a load of these that you can download and print out. So if you want to do that, feel free. And that is the end of the video. So I've completed my two flowers and yeah, I hope what I've done gives you an idea of how you can improve your shading in using coloured pencils in the future. So please give this video a like uh, and a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. I will probably do um, a few videos on my fine art course and others will be tutorials so yeah thanks for watching bye